So first off, I have to give a big shout out to my friends over at RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring these videos. All their beds have a 10-year warranty and come with free shipping to anywhere in the U.S. We love our RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. Use promo code BIGTRUCKBIGRV to receive a 25% discount. Link in the description. Thanks again. What's going on, guys? It is JD with Big Truck Big RV. Um, I'm actually wearing one of your lav oh, mics. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yeah I'm wearing one of your lav mics right now, so you don't need to do that. But we're recording on two cameras, so I'm recording their camera with my camera, and they're recording while well, I'm holding their camera, recording my camera. So this is gonna be on both channels, and we've done a collaboration before. It's been a while. It's been a couple. It was a basement yeah. dweller video that you hopped in on, and we <laughs> talked about people that hate us, and we all have that as influencers. We so. do, and I've actually found a few people here that that don't like me but it was interesting when, when they've never seen your face and then so they good. run into you but yeah. that's okay you know it's life something right. that's right it probably does you, you can't make everyone happy years, you're not reaching the right people <laughs> you're but right you are mostly towables trucks right you do yeah. some motorhomes i maybe do maybe four to three percent of motorhomes very very few and the reason why is exactly what i explained to them when we were walking up there's just so many specs yeah. there's so much horsepower sure. torque yep. chassis everything's different and you know there's a bunch of motorhomes right here and the fact is you know half of them or almost all of them have different specs they do. right and i'm just i'm too lazy to look all that stuff up to be honest <laughs> well, well we're new mar owners so we really like new mars so we're kind of familiar with the new mars and we wanted to hit this so let's just do a quick exterior yeah interior we'll bounce questions off each other and let's go first of all love the full body paint oh, well all the new mars have full body paint and i don't know if your viewers know this, all the new Mars are made on the same line. So from the Bay Star, which is their entry, all the way up to the King Air, the $1.7 million, all made on the same line, all made with the same construction, 16 inch on center, yeah. aluminum frame, framing, full body paint, they're all made the same. The it's same, awesome. the same puck lights same from the Bay lights. Star up to the King Air, yeah. It's a beautiful system they got Yeah, going. they use dual insulation. So they have like the residential style mm -hmm. fiberglass, plus they do foam. So you're gonna get cool in the summer, warm in the winter, and good sound then. Well, from a motorhome perspective, I've always, I've always heard good things about Newmar. So, yeah. well, we chose Newmar. We, it was between Tiffin and Newmar. We went with Newmar because of wonderful reviews and because of the floor plan. They had the floor plan that we wanted. And, and we've been very happy so far. Right, I mean, we're a little biased, but if you're gonna go like production motorhome, we think Newmar's the best. Yep. Now, of course, if you go much higher to the customs. Custom. Newell and yeah. Right. Yeah, that's so, when, the, when That's when the P word comes out. That, and, and, yes, that yep. is correct. And then you limit your buying audience pretty severely. <laughs> that's true, people so, get upset about that. So I got a question for you. Yeah. So this is full body paint. Yep. A lot of RVs out here are full body paint. Yep. And this is a controversial question that I get when I film full body paint RVs. Is it full body paint if the stripes don't go through the side of the slide out walls? It's still full body it's paint. It's still full body paint. That's exactly That's what I say. It's just on the higher anything. end. Yeah. Right. It's just yeah. you're going to see that on the higher, higher end. Yeah, they're, they're, still, they're still painted, those, yeah. those yeah. walls. They just don't follow the pattern. So exactly. And you know, when the slides are in, then it technically is full body paint at that point. So regardless, right. and yes. I feel the same way, but I think some people, maybe the folks who have the stripes going through, or a little, uh, they feel bad. yeah, they feel. People that have the stripes spend more money. That's what it is. Because That's what it is. Up to a Dutch star before yep. you get the. And I see them down there. I see the stripes following through on some of those units down there. One thing that you may be of interest is that Newmar actually does all their paint in house. So, like okay. Integra Coach, they outsource that. Tiffin, I'm not sure, but Newmar 100% in house. Okay, very, very cool. Well, this is going to be kind of your deal because you're the motorhome folks and I'm the towable folks. And I'll ask some questions and I'll kind of uh, follow your lead. So let me, let me make some guesses and assumptions because it'll make me look less dumb. So I'm pretty sure there's probably going to be like a 6,500, maybe a 8,000 watt this generator in there. Eight. So eight, and that tray's going to pull out, generator's going to be in there, the easy servicing. On the driver's side, okay. The Diesel generator, full body paint right here. Collision mitigation, right? So oh, that's if cool. If you fall asleep or you're getting drowsy and you start going. We actually drove these, you can hit the lane, it starts giving you yep. a little buzz in your butt on the steering wheel. So that's a really nice thing. And you got 360 camera system. So when you go inside, you can get the bird's eye view, everything around you. Pretty awesome. Oh, that is awesome. Uh, style mirrors, cameras again, part of 360. Now, uh, I did some videos with Matt's RV reviews, yes. and he told me about the different tiers of RVs from like yes. one through four right. for class A's. Right. Do you know what this would fall under? Well, I don't know what his tier system is, but I will tell you in the Numar line, so you have Baystar Sport, you have Baystar, then you have the 
after base then the, the, uh, the country star. No, sorry, then, Canyon Star. Canyon they used star. to be gas. Canyon Star. Then the Ventana. Country Star. Oh, then country the star. Ventana. Then Ventana. Okay, so, so this is definitely more on the higher end luxury about side. About half a million dollars. Okay. Dutch Star is above this, probably about seven hundred thousand dollars. Okay. So they keep going up from there. Not long ago, it was about four hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> so, definitely not entry level. For yeah, sure. yeah. Hinge door, so if you're on on the wind, you the hinge awning over the door. Oh, that's nice. Full Gerard awning that'll come over, and then slide toppers, which yep. is, you'll have that on the towables also. It's always a nice thing. We love the slide toppers on our motor home because when it's raining, it's just closing everything up. It's so much They also keep the sun from hitting the top of your slides. Yeah. They keep debris off of the yeah. top, and they creates an air gap, and that air gap actually acts as a level of insulation, yeah, which is really it's nice. It's a really good thing to have. I know some people have a problem with it, but I think any motor home or RV would get would have certainly those slide toppers. Now, you have dual fold here. I'm going to say it's probably 100 gallons. In the comments, guys, let us know. I'm pretty sure it's 100 gallons on the diesel. And then what's nice about these motorhomes, the Class A's, is that you just get massive storage. And what I like about this one is that they did an option in the freezer. A lot of times you'll get that Dometic huge freezer on a slide out, but you lose a lot of room. Yeah, And what you sure. see when you go inside, there, it's a huge refrigerator anyway. I don't know how much you really need, but I like that they did it here. Two large slide out trays. One of the things I like about the Ventana and, and kind of more the, the mid tier for the new Mars is that everything's manual. There's no electronics in here, yeah. nothing to go wrong. Manual slide outs, I like that. Just look how large this is coming out, which is, is really a, a nice thing. And with all the brochures that are in there, you can tell it can hold some weight. This is pretty heavy. You can also see it has the road vac inside of it as well. Uh, yeah, you have your central vac, of course. And then if you look over here, some people might be asking, what is all this, this crazy tubing? Uh, so they get these chassis, of course, from the factory. This is on a Spartan K2 chassis. And then they have to kind of upfit them to make them support all this yep. weight. So this is actually the Numar Star Foundation that stands for strong, true, and robust. Make square every time they do that in house, also. Other, other companies will send that out. Again, I know Integra does that, they send it out to Moron to have it done for them. But they do that in house. And continuing down, this is going to be one of your tanks back here, but still utilizing some space. They give you a pegboard, which is a really, really nice thing. I kind of missed over there, you have your outdoor entertainment center. So, full body paint, cut and buff. So, if you feel this, it's, it's not like decals it's nice and smooth oh yeah beautiful nice paint job finish they do this is basf masterpiece finish is what they call it here's a little space that they give you here now one thing i don't like about the ventana line and you have to go up to the dutch star line is that you have a rear mounted radiator and i don't like okay. that you'll see that when we go but here are your your chassis batteries you have two batteries and all your uh, access for maintenance one thing i do like about newmar oh, this your right emergency here, exit egress door now yeah here's the reality you know this jd most people that are buying this they're a little bit older we're kind of in the in the younger side for yeah, motor yeah. homes you have some mobility problems imagine trying to get out one of these windows it could be tough this is easy you go it's a staircase there. right yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's great and, and if you want to put groceries through there packing you can do that also yeah that's awesome. really cool we're right next to the generator that's about the size of the RV, which is fueling all of this. So you might hear that in the background when we're talking. So like I said earlier, Spartan K2, this has the Cummins motor in it. Diesel motor, of course, 380 horsepower, 1150 on the torque. So plenty of power because this is a 38 foot coach, 10,000 pounds on the tow. Okay. So if you want to tow a truck, you can do that. And, and you got all your cameras back here too? All your cameras here, part of the 360. And Again, on this Ventana line, they give you access to the roof. Now, if you go to the Dutch Star and above, you don't have this ladder. Okay. I personally like going up on the roof doing the maintenance. Very I prefer hard. the ladder, yeah. yeah. Here's the advantage, only advantage really, of having the rear mounted radio. You do get some storage here, but much harder to work on, of course. Well, and I think, honestly, the side mounted radiator is synonymous with a higher end coach sometimes. Absolutely. Yeah, you have that kind of like the tag axle as well, you know? Absolutely. The tag, as they get bigger, they just support more weight. It's going to handle a little better. Here's your DEF. Okay, that's your diesel exhaust fluid. Now, I would have liked for them to give a little access port here. Yeah, the that would have been nice. Been really nice. Continuing down. 
this water is bed. nice. They've done yeah. a little, little updating here. So you have your power hose, shower. Here's all your controls for winterizing everything else. Manufill, full house filtration. You have your black tank flush. And you know, one thing nice about the motorhomes is that they're really made for four seasons. So everything is tucked up inside. Yeah, Everything's nice. gonna be heated. So that's a, that's a really nice thing. I wouldn't recommend driving these in the snow and ice. Uh, but there's certainly, we've been out, at least on our motorhome, uh, down into the 20s with really no problem. Mm -hmm. These two bays here, these are going to be extensions of the, the storage side yeah. that we showed you. This is probably going to be your house batteries, I would imagine. And this is a raised rail chassis too, Correct. so everything's so going to sit underneath it. A lot of space in here now. You have one, two, three, four, eight batteries in here. These aren't lithium. You would hope you start getting lithium. I know the Dutch Stars. They come with lithium. I believe the Ventana's 43 foot is an option. Okay. Uh, but not, not so much on here. And you know, a couple things. I mean, weight on this isn't as big of a deal because these things have insane cargo capacities, yeah. but um, you do shave a ton of weight off you when do. you switch it to lithium. So so we have a gas motorhome. It doesn't have, weight's a little more of an issue. Mm -hmm. We switched over to Battleborn, uh, 600 amp hours. So we replaced our four golf cart batteries, shaved a ton of weight, and gained a bun bunch of usable. Oh, very batteries, cool. Which is really nice. And of course, here is gonna be your controls. Yeah, electronics and such. And then you'll pull this, and that will release that front. Oh, your front generator. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's kind of cool. I never, that's one thing I never knew, is how you actually pull that yeah, out, so. Out. So some of these will open, some of them will slide out. Not quite sure what this one is, but you'll still have access to get okay. the front generator. It's like a trunk release. Pretty much. Or a hood release. Now, MJ is inside and uh, she'll give you a tour of the inside. So, super comfortable. As, as you know, we have a new Mar. I love driving and I love being driven. The seats are very, very comfortable. Um, we don't have a diesel, but that's okay. Everything you need, right at a touch. You, again, with this beautiful Class A motorhome, you got that windshield that's just giving you the, the view as you're going down the road. Love it. So, I got a question for you real yeah. quick. So, gas, you're going to have the big engine hump up front right and it's not it's not always that big i mean they've gotten better and you can still get into the front but in your opinion are you gonna you, answer that noise no no oh, no 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 because i know you're gonna hear more engine yeah, yeah. noise it's not super loud though i've been in i've been yeah. in gas engines as well maybe if you're going uphill or something right but um would you prefer a diesel or yes. do you feel that the value of gas outweighs it for when we bought our gas mm -hmm. it was exactly what we needed do i want a diesel now 100 percent Yes, okay. because we're getting closer to, again, it's all about how you travel. So mm -hmm. when we started, the gas was perfect, and even now it is. But as we get closer to being on the road more, the diesel is where we're going to be. Yep. Because yep. it's just, it, you know, we need more towing capacity, we need more carrying capacity, all of that. Tanks, we need bigger tanks. So, yes, I mean, it's definitely what your lifestyle fits, but... Mm -hmm. I am ready for a diesel. <laughs> well, and, and when you're on the road for a long time, engine noise doesn't really matter if you're taking short trips. But, right, right. But having the engine in the back, definitely. When when you hear no engine noise up front, yeah, on a long trip, that's really where where the joy of it, it comes in, nice. right? Yeah, and it's not too bad. Ours isn't too bad. You just have to raise your voice a little bit, but it works. Okay. You know? All right. So moving into the living area here. So you're gonna have your pullout. You have some sleeping space here. Um, take. I'm not even gonna. There we go. I'm not gonna fight with this. Extra sleeping space. You're gonna have your TV on a televator, and this is what I love. You know, a lot of them have this where you get that wonderful um, light. Thank you. So if the TV's down, you have this beautiful picture window there that you get all of that light coming in. Uh, Numar's cabinetry is top notch. Um, beautifully built. The you know they have just all the details that they have. Uh, before I you know show you the other side, their ceiling trays are always gorgeous. And different. Sometimes they'll have like the Numar logo, the shape of the Numar logo. This is pretty simple, but what is nice about Numar, what we love, is all the ducts are hidden. So they take this and it's oh, under wow. there. Oh, so that you is don't cool. Yeah. See them, and when the slides are in, you still have the air. You still get air mo yeah, movement. Yeah, it's yeah. really. We love that. Oh, no, that is really Tiger cool. Started doing that. They moved them closer, to, but yeah. they're still not running down the center. Right, right. So yeah. So then, over on the opposing side, is he's relaxing now. Uh, we got theater seats there, um, very comfortable. We have theater seats in ours as well. Wouldn't change that for a thing. Mm -hmm. The next coach we have, got to have uh, theater seats. And then this is pretty similar to what we have, the setup, the dinette here, and you can have extra chairs here. So then hopping over to the other side, so opposing that, we're going to have there, our large kitchen. 
And again, guys, remember, this is a 38 foot motorhome, okay? All this counter space here, let's move our glasses and our phones. So you're gonna have a two burner true induction cooktop there. A lot of uh, space in the back too. So you oh, yeah. can put, you know, like if you have a you know, Keurig or something, you can put there. Hold on, hold on. That is a perfect spot for a coffee maker. It is. it is. And I don't even drink coffee, but yeah, I, I know it would be the great spot. So you got a dishwasher here, which is wonderful. In our place, it's my son, so I don't need that. Um, all your soft clothes, drawers, okay. These are not dovetailed, okay. So not at this level yet. Probably at the Dutch Star, you start getting that. But there are soft closing, which is nice. Soft closing, yep, beautiful. Then you have a double stainless steel sink. Love the double sink. A beautiful sprayer here. I love. All their backsplashes yeah. are so nice. It's real tile too. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. And then you have, you know, all your counter space, a place for your garbage can. That's always a plus because we don't have that. And like this too, spatulas or things like that, which is really cool. And then again on this, you have, you know, all your light controls around the coach. So you can just, wherever you are, you can turn on and off. Very cool. All right. Oh, before I get to the bathroom. So you got a Whirlpool fridge. now. We're not big Whirlpool fridge fans. I don't know if people know this, but we are on our third fridge now, and we've had to remove it ourselves every time. It's a great, you know, it, it holds a lot and everything. They just, they haven't treated us well. So oh, man. next well, yeah. time we may go with something else. But, uh, it's, and it's hard to say too, because you're putting a residential appliance in an RV. That's, you know? that's flying down the road at, you yeah, know, 65 Yeah, exactly, miles the whole earthquake so. hurricane thing. Exactly. So then we have our half bath, and again, I'm going to say 38 foot coach, and you're getting one and a half baths. That's a decent size here, okay? You have a ton of, of room. This, just so you know, you can't open all the way because of the space, oh, yeah. but you still have a lot of room. You're getting that, you know, second medicine cabinet there, beautiful, you know, bowl sink, nice backsplash again. So very, very nice. That's no, a great looking setup. It is. Newmar is just very classy. It's really, they have a beautiful, beautiful look. And then moving into the master bedroom. So king size bed and under on the Newmars, you're going to get that storage. So there's your chairs that we talked about. Okay. Very easy to maneuver. And you're going to have, they're all, again, we have a base star, but they're all kind of the same. You have that nightstand and then you're going to have the um, space up here just so you know guys they do have a CPAP hole there so if you have a oh, CPAP, wow that's cool you can, the plug can come down okay some RVs don't have that but this one does you've got one out here yeah. actually okay so then you have your equipment for when you sleep um, beautifully done again just nice I don't think all the lights are on actually um, just nicely done you see the little little touches accents here everywhere down, yeah right really really nice yeah very upscale feels like a, a nice resort yeah yeah and again this is on the lower end you know this is not your dutch star and, and above this is really really nice okay so then your master bath i don't know if izzy mentioned this but you do have the egress oh, yeah, door which emergency exit with love, stairs yeah love love we don't have that but i wish we did um and again the toilets are porcelain toilets here's your laundry splendid washer dryer and again, this is where 38 feet, you get that one and a half bath, but it's going to be smaller. Yeah. So, right, you don't have that 40, 45 foot master bath with double sinks. And it's a beautiful it, bowl. Isn't this gorgeous? Yeah. I, I haven't seen one like this. That's a really nice hut. And look at this. I like that. Yep. Again, beautiful. nice backsplash. The shower is a good size. Ladies, you want to shave your legs? This is good to go tall people you're going to have a, an easy time in here so you can tell yeah, yeah i'm five nine so you can see how much room is there a lot of room to move yep definitely that is a huge shower yeah, space yeah real nice looks like we have some storage right here too yep so you got a nice closet there well lit absolutely and you can stack things could be you know, like a shoe closet or things like that and that's it i don't think i opened one of these let me just show you this you have your two wardrobes and you do have a safe in there as well a lot of wardrobe space in here. A lot of space. So if yeah. you like to carry, time. you know, a lot of your full time, plenty of places to keep your clothes and that kind of thing. All right, so let's head out here. You want to pause? No, yeah, we're good. You good? Yeah. Anything you want to add? No, I really like uh, what Newmar did, going, giving a little bit extra space. Uh, they did that with the this one and i believe the mountain air they did a 38 foot which is pretty the, nice the 38 we always say i think 40 feet is like kind of our sweet spot mm -hmm. but 38 they 
do a beautiful Newmar does a beautiful job of packing a lot into a small space they and really do the 40 they went to 41 feet which is right pretty awesome. right so that probably is going to look like 45 so what do you think okay so to be honest with you um i'm I don't do a lot of, again, Class A's. I think we've established that. Yeah. And they're so different in terms of how floor, pan, floor plans feel versus tobles. I mean, yeah. you're never going to get in a Class A and get into a fifth wheel and, and think you're in one or the other. Right. I mean, it's, it's just, or think they're the same. They're, they're so different. Um, but I always seem to like, especially when you have these large opposing slides, how Class A's feel. Um, and the thing I think I like most about something like this is, yeah, you get all this space, which is super cool, but at the same time, you feel like you're connected with, well, you are connected with the vehicle, right? You, you can sit in the vehicle, you can stop, you don't have to feel like I got to get out of my truck to get into my trailer. And it seems like that's the big perk. And when you couple it with a really nice interior like this, it's like a super win. Yeah, well, on the way down, we have a three hour drive. And the tourists in the morning, I drink a big shake, and sometimes you just have to do the, the potty stop, and we just pulled over mm -hmm. on the shoulder. Quick. One, two, three. Gone. Yeah, yeah. We were down a minute, and we're out. Let's well, it see, also seems like advantage. if you're like if you if you're camping at a Walmart or something in a parking Absolutely. lot, yeah. you don't have to feel like it's something going on with my tow vehicle. Correct. It's somebody Correct. You know, tampering with. If you hear weird noises, which you're always going to hear weird noise in a Walmart parking lot at right. night. <laughs> That you know, is very true. You know, you don't have the situational awareness, especially with a fifth wheel. You're limited with windows in a fifth wheel, too. Right. So I love the huge windows. I guess I'm speaking about motorhomes in general versus towables. Um, I think the biggest downside I've always seen with motorhomes is if your engine breaks, your home breaks. Well, and the cost. Uh, and the cost, yeah. yeah. on the road is definitely more expensive, yep. it, it for sure. It is very high. And we've, you know, been having some issues, and we were on the side of the road a couple times. Luckily, it didn't keep us there. But, yeah, it can... It can add up. Yeah. yeah. My, my father's a motorhome guy, and yeah. as much as he loves them, he's got a little towable now, but it's it's kind of the same thing. It's like a motorhome's not like a fifth wheel. If I park a fifth wheel, I can leave it alone there, and nothing will probably ever happen to it. Right. And you might get some rodents in it or something like that, but they're not going to damage anything critical. Right. right. With a motorhome, it, it starts to die yeah. when you leave it alone. you got to use it. Yeah. You really got to use yeah, it. Right. Things will start start really wearing out on you. But in terms of this i love it it's it's beautiful um my only negative to it is um i don't and this may just be me i don't feel like it will age well and I, the reason why i say that not not from a quality perspective but some of the things that they've done here they look beautiful make them super modern right but, trendy yeah but it, it seems as if five years from now when the trends change It'll be some of this fun. stuff is going to either feel aged or it's going to feel it's going to feel like you're behind the times a little right. bit. And I've seen that in a lot of motorhomes to where with fifth wheels, they come out with new floor plans all the time and they update them and they make them look different. They change out the furniture colors. They do everything. And it just seems like in motorhomes, sometimes they don't age as gracefully, if that's a fair Makes statement. Sense. Yeah, sure. Right. What do you all think yeah. about that? No, I, for sure. Well, there, there's, there's, certain, there's certain companies out there that they kind of always age, right? Like, so the classic Tiffins, they... they mm -hmm. They're starting to change them now to make them look a little more modern, but like your classic Tiffin, like it's been the same for like 15 years. years. Like yeah, it's yeah. Just, it's just what it is, you know? And we're looking at used old, um, like country coaches that we mm -hmm. love and, and beavers and, and things, are, and they look aged, yeah, it, but but you can just, you just update. Yeah, you, you update just, and yeah, that's where the fun comes in, right? Exactly. Absolutely. Make yours. Yep, yeah. no. So this has been a great collaboration. Agree. So yeah. happy that we so met much finally. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty yeah. awesome, and that you made it up from Texas. Up yeah, no, yeah, yeah got to. Thank it, you so much. It's only ninety degrees here. Yeah, so yeah. It's not too bad. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's we're like dripping over here. Oh, me too. But but it's not as bad. But <laughs> no, no, I appreciate it, guys. This is an awesome collaboration. Yeah. I always I always like to reinforce the message that we're a YouTube family. You know, we really are. It's like we've collaborated in the past. A lot of times, YouTubers have never seen each other. But that's the great thing about social media media and Absolutely. networking is we we all support each other and just like i told matt with matt's rv reviews you know rising tides it raises all of us and Absolutely. it's not a competition no that's the key no. it, you, you, learn learn each other. We you do because i'm not a full-timer i've never admitted to be i've, I've never yeah. told somebody that we've spent more than a month in an rv at a time we've yeah. never have we're Two weekend warriors we're good. Well, after, there you go. Yeah. After two weeks, we're like, we gotta go home. I need to spread the wings. <laughs> yeah, we're weekend warriors. We go out, we spend three or four days at a time in an RV several times a month, and that to us is the type of RVing we we like. And it relates to a lot of people who have to work Absolutely. and then have to RV. But then there's a lot of folks who spend longer times, longer trips on the road, like y'all. And then there's folks who just live in their RVs full time. Right. And the fact is that you're never gonna, not one RVer can ever express the the correct opinion of RVing to everybody. Everyone everyone's story is different. different. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Some people love to full time. We used to want to full time, yeah. but then we decided 
not for us. Yeah, so in the comments below, guys, let us know. What do you think about these collaborations? What do you think about this motorhome? We don't have prices yet. I know people are going to say, what's the price? It's industry day. But yeah. we're going to put the uh, the new Mora link down below. It's still industry day. And thank you, JD. You like videos so like much. this? Left of us, RV tours, RV DIYs. We'll put it right over here. Yeah. Appreciate it, guys. This is super fun. We'll talk to you again real soon. Thanks, guys.